So India Networks is, a, as you know, <laughs> an international research center in uh, the networking area. So the research is focused on sort of not only the pipes that build today's uh, internet networks and wireless networks, but also on applications and services that are built upon these, these um, types of infrastructure. Uh, it's a group of researchers uh, that are affiliated with uh, various universities and then some core researchers that belong to the center that are from really all over the world, uh, not only from Europe, but also from Asia uh, and from the US. Um, the group of people that work at INDEA are really tightly focused on networks and have been working on uh, researching networks for a long, long time. Uh, they include some of the top researchers in the world that are well recognized. Uh, you constantly see them at top conferences, at least I will in the US. <laughs> Uh, but also in Europe when I come here. Um, that's more or less what it is. It's uh, also a place where people come to research. Uh, I have many colleagues from abroad that have come here to do sabbaticals and learn from the researchers here in India and also bring their know-how and interactions with uh, people here in Europe. Research team here is superb. Of course, there's sort of different levels of uh, researchers. You have senior researchers that have been working in the field for a long time and are well recognized in the international community. Um, there's uh, more junior people that uh, you know, are recent graduates from uh, top universities, both in Europe and uh, in the US and abroad, uh, that come here to develop their uh, research uh, skills and continue researching both topics that they've worked on before, but also developing new topics in the context of the European efforts. And then, of course, there's the, what I consider the main uh, uh, customers in some ways, uh, at least one part of the customers of the research here, which is the kids that come here to do uh, research, the PhD students and uh, uh, others uh, that come here to develop their uh, uh, intellectual skills and their research abilities so that they can go and change the world. So, uh, yeah, I think it was a couple, already a couple of years ago when I first came uh, uh, to visit IMDEA. I was on my sabbatical and um, uh, IMDEA was just uh, starting, was a budding center. Um, and I came here, I should say, not knowing very many people, many researchers. And um, uh, it took a little bit of time, but then I uh, started connecting both from a, an intellectual perspective, but also a social perspective with a, a group of people that are really exceptional uh, researchers. Um, in the end, uh, I started uh, several collaborations. Um, one, for example, with Ángel uh, 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 Cuevas. Uh, and, um, and actually, it ended up being also with a student from India. And uh, this work ended up being a Best Paper Award at uh, an international conference in our field. I'm very proud of it, and it was actually a very nice, uh, a nice piece of work on uh, data-centric uh, storage. So, you know, the nice thing uh, is uh, that it wasn't just a visit that uh, uh, ended. In fact, my relationships with this center have continued, uh, in particular collaborations. Uh, I'm part of the Scientific Council, and I've been coming uh, regularly to see how the center is progressing. It's grown tremendously. Uh, both in terms of uh, top-notch staff and uh, researchers as well as students. There's an enormous number of students here uh, from all over the world. Um, uh, what's more, I don't even have to come back to India to meet uh, my colleagues because whenever I go to conferences, uh, uh, I uh, regularly see them there in, in masses. I think I just came back from Infocom. 2014, a few months ago, and I met, uh, I think it was about six uh, people uh, from India there that were presenting their work. So it's really a, a splendid center, it's really well recognized uh, in the international community, uh, and I think, you know, it's going to be a great success going forward. So why have a research center in networks, um, in particular in information technologies and networks, really? Um, of course, these networks are becoming increasingly the infrastructure over which we build our societies, the infrastructure that we use to attack some of the grand challenges uh, going forward uh, in, in our countries and in the world, really, sort of the climate control, uh, energy problems, healthcare, uh, and really education as well. Those are all sort of 
grand challenges that we face, and they all rely on computation and communication at the end of the day. So we would like our networks to be invisible in some sense, but increasingly it's this combination of network, network intelligence, uh, the way people use these networks that's becoming critical, and INDEA is attacking sort of these problems, not only from the, the technology point of view, but also from the algorithms point of view, uh, developing new ways of mining data to understand how our cities work and how transportation works and how to better utilize uh, energy. So really, an investment in, in research and networks is, is, is critical to any country, it's critical to the worldwide, and IMDEA is contributing uh, not only to you know, Spain, innovation and opportunities to innovate and develop new companies and value in this country, but also contributing to the worldwide uh, new ideas to how these networks should be built and operated.